Hi friends, Tracy here from The Sewing Channel. Welcome back, and if you're new here, welcome. I hit the jackpot today. I have seven auctions for you to take advantage of. No talking, let's get busy. Okay, now right out of the gate, I find something that I've never seen before. This Bucilla or Bucilla it's called, embroidery ribbon. You have to let me know if you know what this is. Now, if you notice here, it's a hair clip or something like that. And there was a lot of this embroidery ribbon type thing that was at the Goodwill today in different patterns and, and different embroidery ribbon flosses or whatever you would like to call them. I have no clue. But this ran about $2.99 each, I believe. And they were really kind of neat looking, but I didn't know what they were really. So... I didn't buy any of them, but you'll see throughout that there was quite a bit of this embroidery ribbon and the clips, the hair clips for whatever reason. So I don't know. Let me know down in the comments. Here's a bag of hoops for $2.99. Not a bad deal. Here's a bad deal right here. A whole bag of beads that you can get at the dollar store for $2.99. Oh, this was cute. A little red hat. Thing. I don't know, $1.99. Here's a button ear as seen on TV. Who knows if they really work though, right? <laughs> Here was some miscellaneous bags of different threads and such. And there was some metal bobbins right there. And just some tchotchkes in there, some belt loops or belt metal belt clips or something. And there it looks like there was some bias in there for $1.99. Here was a couple zippers, I believe they were $1.99 for two of those. And just some more thread, and mm, here's some more of this ribbon embroidery. I mean, I don't know what it is. Some rainforest animals. I'm not sure what that was, some kind of a little craft or something. This caught my eye, the Singer box right there behind that brush. I do end up opening that up here to show you all what was in there. I don't think that it fit my uh, vintage singer, but I don't know. Here's some more of that silk embroidery stuff in pink and a uh, ribbon shredder, which we've seen here before. Here was just some more of that Bucilla or Buchilla under there. Here was a, just a cheap little sewing kit. This was neat. This was called a Stuff It or Stuffy 2 or something like that for $1.99. Oh, and this was really cool. I almost popped on this because I wasn't sure, though, if they were vintage or not. They didn't really look too old for a buck ninety-nine. I probably should have popped on them, but nah, I put them back. Some more miscellaneous um, old thread there. Oh, this was really cute. Now, I almost popped on this just for the packaging alone, but I don't need any more junk in my sewing room. I'm trying to declutter it. <laughs> But it was cute. Oh, here were some more sewing feet. Now, I couldn't tell. There was no name on them what sewing machine they belonged to. But I knew that they didn't belong to a brother. So I left them. Now, if you follow my channel for long enough, you'll note that I always find eyes at the Goodwill. Now, look at this. These are like crazy eyes or something. But I'm always coming across them. I don't know. Here's a ruler. It was a Dritz ruler, I think. Yeah, I think it, yes, Dritz it says. It was $1.99, but I have enough rulers of that size, and I really don't need any more. Here was a fashion ruler, and I have two of these already, and this was also $1.99. So I knew I didn't need another one, so I put that ruler back. Now, this was neat, though. This was a package of a bunch of little yellow rulers and I've never seen them before. Maybe one of you have. Let me know down in the comments if they're used or how they're used. And those were some crochet needles. Now back here, way in the back, I try to dig to show you there was a knit collar of some type. It was already together, but I don't know if you just attach that to a shirt or what, but I thought that was kind of neat how it was already done like that. Here was a vintage Jiffy six-pack curtain pattern. Here were some stamps. We always find stamps lately at the Goodwill for a buck ninety-nine. I believe they were for the big ones. This was a uh, fray, fray check or fray, <laughs> fray block. Sorry about that. 
Um, I almost thought about getting it, but I didn't know how old it was, and I didn't know if that stuff goes bad or whatnot. I don't know. Here, this was a bedazzler. Who out there remembers the bedazzlers? Everybody's bedazzling their jean coats and shirts. Remember that? It was like a craze or something, a fad. So I thought that was kind of cool. Here was some more stamps. I like that one. It was like a big ornament or something for Christmas. There's another uh, clothes pattern, a McCall's. Down here was a big bag of raffia, and I remember when I used to make those raffia baskets. Anybody else out there used to make those raffia baskets? Let me know down in the comments. Those were a lot of fun to make. Here was a cute embroidery kit for $1.99. They always have a lot of that stuff. Here was a bag of buttons and beads and such, and... Here was some more buttons. I think I've seen those here before. Just some of those miscellaneous bags filled. Now, here was some of that binding and rickrack, but they wanted $5.99 for each of those bags, and you know that we've seen it way cheaper than that. And so here is some velvet from that uh, embroidery um, ribbon kit stuff. Here was a bag of zippers for $10.99 they wanted for the whole bag. Here were those knit rings. I forget what they make with those washcloths or something like that. I don't know. Here was some fabric scraps and such in the bins down here. Some beading and just some bags of, you know, already opened and used binding looks like. There's some wooden balls. I had no clue what to do with those, but wooden balls, bag bag of wooden balls for $1.99. I don't know. I thought those were kind of cute right there. They were like designer heads. I don't know, maybe for dolls or something. I'm not sure. This bag here looked like it had some pencils and... Maybe some kind of kit to make a t-shirt or something. I don't know, but looky, looky there. Some more eyes. Oh, my word. This stuff is so bagged up that I can't even tell what it is sometimes. I was looking to try and see what this was. Is it embroidery maybe I'm thinking? Yeah, I think that was different little embroidery kits in a bag. Here was just some beading back there and some ribbon. Here was a bag of black lace. Here was just some time. Oh, my goodness. Are you serious? Wait a minute. Eyes. There are more eyes in this bag, like for real. I, I can't even kid you about that because it's it's the truth. And this ribbon embroidery, it sure is pretty. And it is everywhere in the, in the craft section of the Goodwill in all different spots. But it's pretty. Here were some mini plastic apples. They were really cute, but there was like a lot of them. I, I don't know anybody who needs that many. And here, this was a whole bag of this embroidery ribbon. It almost looked like floss packages, like embroidery floss, the way it was wrapped around there. And I can't see. I think it says $3.99 on it. Yeah. And I bet you it probably is a good deal. I know someone is going to tell me down in the comments that all that stuff is like a really good deal and I should go back and grab it, right? You tell me if it's so. Here I'm just rooting through the ribbon section, seeing what's in there. Sometimes stuff gets tucked in there that you may not see in a different spot. So you have to look everywhere in the Goodwill. And here was just the same old ribbon that's usually there, except this right here. This was really interesting. This seemed to have plastic around every single piece of the lace. But I left it, but it was pretty. They had bagged up a bunch of the ribbon, which was probably a good idea since they're usually loose and everywhere. And the price was about $5.99 for each of the bags of ribbon, which isn't a bad deal, especially if you use ribbon a lot. My quilting friends are going to absolutely love this auction right here. In this bin up here, I found a bunch, and I mean a bunch, of those Joanne fabrics block of the month packages before i show you what i actually found let me show you what sold here on ebay 
this is only five packages of this right here for $45. I know, right? And I have almost all of them. Not only did I find one set, but I found two different sets. And the other set, 10 of them sold for $43. And I have 10 that are in that set as well. Here's the thing. When I got up to the register, each one said $1.99. I asked them if I bought all of them, if I could get them for a lesser price, and they did. They gave me all of them for $8. So there'll be two sets in the auction, that classic quilt, and then the other blue one. I forget what it's called. There were only a couple packages that were actually open, but nothing was missing. Each package has the actual pre-cut fabric for that block of the month in it with the pattern and the instructions inside of it. The auction will go live for seven days directly after the first airing of this video. Each auction will start at only 99 cents. This is going to be fun. Good luck. This is when I go back up in that bin to see if there's any more of the one set. And this is where I find the second set, and it's called Patch in Time. So that's the name of that one, and it looks really cute. They all look really cute. People collect these, like, a lot, and I had no idea of this until one time I saw it on eBay, and I thought, what are all these packages of Joanne Fabric stuff? And this is what they were. So people, they search these things out. They they love those packages of pre-cut fabrics and such. Okay, onward. <laughs> Here was just some other little books and, and those plasticky things with the, like the grids almost in them. And here was some fabric. Now I tried to piece this together. I think the tag said $2.99 on it. And it was just some fabric that I really didn't need, but it was there. It looked a little vintagey too, it was cute. Here was a dressmaker sewing machine, it said. It looked like it was for a little kid. But I had heard, though, that these aren't that great. So you might want to stay away from them. I think they wanted $9 or something for that. This right here, that wooden type looking thing, it was just a backdrop for photography. And I have a couple of those already, so I didn't need any. Here was some um, scraps in a bag. Don't need. This was somebody's vinyl tablecloth that they cut up I think don't need <laughs> here was the yarn section it's looking a little light these days so I don't know either people are buying them or they are tossing them in the garbage up top here by the scissors I see out of the corner of my eye some pinking shears and I'm a sucker for pinking shears for sure but I didn't pop on these ones because I already have that particular brand in my stash of pinking shears already. Here was just a tray that goes to somebody's sewing kit. I think they wanted $1.99 or $2.99. They wanted way too much for it, but whatever. Auction number three. It is a basting tack remover and it is brand new still in the package. So it works really great when you baste something down with those big long stitches and you just take this along and pluck them right out after you're done kneading of the basting stitch. And it looked pretty cool, so I got it for one of the auctions. And the auction there will start at 99 cents. Auction number four is one two pound handheld dumbbell. It is for when we do our cutting on our long rulers, we would set this down so that holds that so it doesn't shift on our fabric and where we cut all wonky. Now I'm buying them as a set at $4.99, but I'm only putting one in the auction because you guessed it, I'm keeping one of them. So one of my subscribers will be able to bid on the other one and it will go live 99 cents right after the first airing of this video. And look what I see in the back room of my Goodwill yet again. 
except with a lower price. Yes, they absolutely marked this one down to $49.99. Now they first had $75 on it if you watched my last Goodwill video. And I still opened it up and it's still the same one and it still has these beautiful drawers on them. But nope, I did not pop on it yet because I'm thinking, hey, maybe they'll come down even lower. And that's when I say, I'll take it, but I only want the six drawers and I'm gonna donate the rest back. So I don't know yet. We'll have to see if they even really do that. If you didn't catch my last video, this uh, table and machine was made by White and yes, the pedal absolutely does work. <laughs> Here's another machine and cabinet that was here and it looked like it was in pretty good shape. It was a Sears Kenmore and they wanted, I believe, $19.99 for that. Not a bad deal, it probably works and someone will get a lot of use out of that. Check out this next item, it's so unique, I almost popped on it. See it there in the corner? It's this tall yardstick ruler and it's all solid wood, but someone had written, it looked like in marker, all of the numbers on them. They only wanted $5.99 for it, but Ah, uh, you know what? I got too much clutter, way too much clutter. So I left it. Auction number five is this complete book of sewing. And I'll tell you what, it has just about every sewing technique you could ever imagine for garment sewing and whatnot. So I couldn't pass it up. I thought for sure someone will need this book. And just like all the other auctions, this will start at 99 cents directly after the first airing of this video and will go for seven days. Check out the book section at my Goodwill. Overflowing for sure. Okay, auction alert number six, I think this is. It's a quilting book and it's a garden of quilts. And there were so many lovely quilt patterns in here that I had to grab it so one of you could take advantage of this auction. So this one will go up for 99 cents as well. I did not forget about my crocheters out there. Here is an heirloom Afghan book and oh my word, is it jam packed full of great stuff. So this one will go up for 99 cents as well. On this same day, my husband and I stopped at a flea market and here's my husband carting this wooden quilt rack to the car for me. It was only $5. I may have an obsession with quilt racks lately. I don't know, but you gotta hang your quilt somewhere, right? <laughs> Here are two vintage quilts that I saw at the flea market. They were darling. One looked like a wedding ring and the other one was pinwheels. They had them priced at $45 each, which wasn't a horrible price really, but I have enough quilts at home. <laughs> I hope you had fun coming along with me on all my thrift adventures. The links to bid on all seven auctions will be down in the description box below this video. Until next time on the Sewing Channel, take care.